Hello, KubeCon Cloud NativeCon North America. I'm so happy to see all of you in real life. Oh, it's so <laughs> exciting. And virtually, of course, this year. What a treat. So my name is Caitlin Raymer. I lead business development for the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. This will be my 11th KubeCon since joining CNCF in 2017. Look how far we've come. As I said earlier, I'm so excited to be here and speak with you on the keynote stage for my first time ever. Gracing the stage as well with her presence today is Kim McMahon. Kim? Hello, everybody. I am also equally excited to be here. I'm glad to be back with the CNCF community. I've missed you all. As you know, I led the marketing for CNCF for a long time, but last year I left to join RISC V International. RISC V, we'll get it, we'll say it correctly here for the video. One of the fastest growing open source projects, Caitlin. So let's get going. Yes. So today, Kim and I will be speaking about why an alliance between CNCF and RISC-V is important. We'll give you a quick overview of RISC-V, share why alliances make good friends, we'll highlight where our project technologies are intersecting in the real world, and we'll close with what we as CNCF and RISC-V will build together. Let's get started. Let's do this. So RISC-V, if you don't know who RISC-V is, you are going to. You are definitely going to hear about them. We are a global nonprofit, one of the Linux Foundation projects focused on open hardware. Our part of the open source hardware is the processor or chip called the instruction, architect instruction set architecture, basically a specification on how to build a chip. Our, the RISC-V ISA and extensions define how the CPU is going to be controlled by the software. If you haven't heard about us, as I mentioned, you're going to because our open collabor collaboration model enables freedom of design throughout the community, setting the foundation for semiconductors. And as we like to say, it's the open era of computing. Now, our open collaboration model is not a whole lot different than other open source projects, including CNCF. Yes. So Kim and I really came together to form an alliance, not only because we love working together, but because we feel that cloud native and open hardware are important areas to continue to foster innovation. If any of you were able to catch Daniel and Carlos's keynote about RISC-V and CNCF at KubeCon Europe earlier this year, you would have taken away that hardware must become more fragmented to satisfy our robust computing demands. As more and more workloads and applications continue to be developed Using microservices and immutable infrastructure, more choices and options get created to form solutions and sometimes even companies that didn't exist before. This is really why we formed an alliance. We want to foster even more impactful ecosystems, those that provide lots of choice and most importantly, an open source first mindset. As Jim Zemlin noted in his keynote at Open Source Summit, the right side of history favors collaboration. It's through this exposure and collaboration that drives our community's collective innovation. Let's look at a real world example next, Kim. Yes, let's. So Goliath, they are a great example of a company that uses multiple open source projects. They provide turnkey IoT services with a level of choice that matters most to hardware developers, flexibility in hardware, embedded software, and connectivity. Goliath provides the cloud backend to collect edge data for such everyday things as pet trackers, street lights, cattle trackers. And because there is an ex ecosystem around the cloud native technology and it's open, they can build their IoT specific applications. The Goliath solution is a RISC-V espressive board running Zephyr real-time operating system and Kubernetes for their cloud infrastructure. A collective innovation, and there's that word again. Exactly. As Jonathan stated, without open source in these ecosystems, Goliath would not exist. And Goliath is just one example of cloud native and open hardware coming together, and it's just the beginning. There are so many organizations, likely all of you, that are using multiple open source technologies, especially because you all and we all have open source in our DNA. 
Since we are both open source projects, our work is focused on the community, and it was natural for us to talk about services that we offer back to our community, activities we're doing, best practices, and ways to collaborate on new initiatives. One area that Caitlin and I worked together on was business development. Caitlin had developed great processes for membership sales, templates for prospecting, outreach to members, for example. So we collaborated on a long-term sales plan, targeted account list, and metrics specific for RISC V improvements all around. Another area that we collaborated was with our quarterly member review program. We took that, took what Caitlin had put together and developed a strategic member review template that we use for calls with our key members, uh, with our top members, actually with all our members anymore, <laughs> as we collaborated. The end result was a graphical look at member activity with the project outlining the range of contributions in the technical engagement area, such as GitHub and products on the RISC-V exchange, in the visibility area, such as blogs and events, and in technical leadership. And this is just two examples. Caitlin? Yes, exactly. Thanks, Kim. So Kim's expertise really lies in the marketing communications area, and she was able to share a few specific best practices and tools with us. So one was a strategic visibility and community plan, which took a top-down approach to goals and objectives and really turned them into actionable items, which was helpful to keep our team on task and focused. And then in order to maintain a cohesive strategy and share more stories about collaboration with our ecosystems, Kim developed a marketing content calendar, which we've iterated on today to include things like blogs, video projects, case studies, planned event promotion. And I'm pretty sure, Kim, you took this tool with you at Risk 5 today, too. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of content, we plan to prepare joint blogs and case studies so both projects can spread the word. Not only will we offer our communities marketing programs to share these types of collaboration stories, but we also provide technical playgrounds. Our CNCF CNF test suite and the CNCF infrastructure lab are available to our CNCF projects. And RISC-V has development partners, a development board program, and RISC-V labs. This makes resources available to the community for growth and expansion of all open source solutions. And then lastly, to help drive adoption education in our communities, we're partnering on a Risk 5 and Kubernetes training. So keep your eyes out for this. It's coming. Yes, I am very excited about this training project because <laughs> it's going to be a great asset for organizations and individuals that are in the data center cloud space and are also working with open hardware and open source technologies. So as we were talking about industries, we found a lot of crossover in where we were working. So in addition to data center and cloud, there's also HPC, edge computing, automotive, for example. And it totally makes sense for us to be combining our efforts when talking to these industries, whether it's at an event or a piece of content, so that they can see the breadth, so the people in these industries can see the breadth of their open source options. And when we collaborate, we combine, combine resources, such as people, for, from both teams that allow us to do more. And in the community area, more resources are always needed. Exactly. Yeah, everybody's nodding. They're like, sure. <laughs> One of the areas is in local community events. And when we team, the audience benefits from hearing about the expanded topic, the project benefits from talking to a broader audience, and maybe even exposing that audience to new open source technologies. Online programs like webinars and live video are also perfect for collaboration for these same reasons. So in the end, we're making it easier for the community to, ac to have access to the resource from multiple open source technologies while we are both gaining access to an audience that may not know about us. So it, exactly, Kim, <laughs> thank you. So CNCF and RISC-V are also co-sponsoring events, so expect to see more of us at the RISC-V Summit and KubeCon called Native Cons to come. Risk 5 Summit, December 6th through 8th, <laughs> Moscone Center, San Francisco. Let me know if you want to go. Don't forget. <laughs> so in conclusion, an alliance between CNCF and Risk 5 is here to tell the open source story and drive our ecosystem's collective innovation. As we mentioned earlier, this work we're doing is just the beginning. <laughs> and so you know value is being delivered when more choices 
are developed for solutions. And we look forward to seeing more real world examples like Goliath be put into practice. We also want to hear your stories of collective innovation, so come share them with us. Thank you for your time, and we hope you have a fantastic KubeCon Cloud NativeCon. Thank you. <laughs>